Manchester United TV, joined by manager Steve Cunningham after the 2-2 draw against Halifax. Steve, it's been a couple of weeks since we last spoke. Obviously, more trialists coming in, different trialists, but two solid performances, well, three really, against Trafford, Selbridge, and today against Halifax. Yeah, it's been a busy, busy sort of week and a half. I think we were fantastic against Trafford. Thought there were some really good performances. Um, I thought we really implemented our style that we've been sort of working on training. The Stanley Bridge game I wasn't happy with. I thought we were very, very poor. Um, I don't want to take that anything away from Kinsey's side. I thought they were excellent on the night. But what it did show was with so many people missing, uh, which is pre-season and everybody's in the same boat, we had a group of lads who haven't played together. Uh, they were 1-0 down, they scored with five minutes to go. So it's shown a great quality to stay in the game. We won on penalties. And then we've come here today and we've had our first game on, you know, uh, a beautiful pitch. You know, this work that's gone into this it's been unbelievable and we can only thank the chairmen, Dave and Jonathan for the investment in that and also all the, the hard work from the volunteers yourself Luke and everybody that's been watering it daily um, it's, it's immaculate and we're very lucky and privileged to be able to play on it so uh, I want to thank uh, Millie for bringing over his team um, they've got a, a double header today so it could have been easy for them just to say no but they've, they've worked tirelessly to make sure that we can have two competitive games and I thought the first half we tried to play some really good football, we had a lot of the ball, we just didn't really get anywhere with it. And then second half, I thought we blew them away. I thought we were outstanding second half. And uh, yeah, that was a bit more like how I want us to go and attack a team, especially being a, a possession-based team. So overall, three great games, considering we're missing five, six players. And uh, yeah, it's been, it's been, uh, been tiring. I'm feeling it a little bit now, um, but I'm looking forward to a good week on the training ground now. There was definitely a, a, a nature of it in the second half. There seemed a little bit more urgency, a little bit more aggressive nature in, in the way that the lads were playing. Yeah, I mean, we, because we're still in pre-season, I want the fans to know that we are very much working on trying to be a certain style of footballing team. And they're, they're taking that literally at the minute. Uh, we are really overplayed and I get that. I, I think we've probably had take away the second half today in the three games completed in the last uh, three I bet we've had about seven shots on goal which isn't good enough because you don't win enough football matches but what we've also done is limit the other teams to very very little as well now we're going to start ramping up our attacking play and uh, yeah I thought second half was a great example of how we can really attack a team and uh, that that excites us because I think if we can play like that second half I think we'd be a very good team going forward and obviously run corn and then the Burnley 11 back here at Hurst Cross Tuesday the 8th of August How's the preparation looking for that Workington game, the first game of the season? Yeah, I mean, we've still got a lot to do because if you think you've got Marcus Cassani, who's missed the last three games, Al Burns missed the last uh, two games, uh, we've got Potts, who's missed the last two, we've got Sam Baird out at the moment, uh, Potts has been away, all of a sudden these, these boys, Lowy. Lowy as well, Lowy's obviously in Australia, so we've got some unbelievable players to come back and we, we've got a really good squad and, and fair play to the players that have stepped up to the mark. But this week will all be about the preparation of starting to work on more tactical stuff going forward, set pieces. We haven't worked on anything like that yet. Um, we've got to narrow the group down. We've got a great group of people here. And I feel sorry because there's going to be two or three that I'm going to have to let go. And I really don't want to. But you can only carry so many. Um, but we're going to have a good week of training. Everyone will be back ready for the... Um, the Run Corn Linux game, and I'm looking forward to going there. I've played there, I was a captain uh, under uh, Steve Wilkes, and it's a fantastic football club. Great people at the football club there. Um, Sean Newton obviously knows the manager really well, and they've arranged the game, so we, we thank them for hosting the game. And then um, the relationship I've got through my son, and obviously living in Burnley, got a fantastic end of pre season game here under the lights uh, against the Burnley 11. So a nice way just to get ready for the 12 versus working to new I know a very good side know the manager there similar team to us passing team um, but we've still got a lot to work on anything can happen but what we've come out of today is you know very limited injuries it's all just knocks tiredness uh, and we'll go into a really good week where we can recover and work on our actual play 